Hey, what is going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be looking at my Funko Pop collection for 2019 and yeah, I, I know this video is kind of uh, late into 2020, but I've been without internet for about a week and a half and I finally got around to finishing editing this video and adding the voiceover, so it's been fun. Now, we're gonna get into it right now. The first four pops we look at were actually purchased or given to me prior to 2019. Uh, dating back to 2015, 2016, and then 2018. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the first three. And as you can see with the first three pops here, we got Finn the Human from Adventure Time, Jake the Dog from Adventure Time, and Negan from Aven Adventure Time. Adventure Time from Walking Dead, excuse me. Now, as you can see, these pops are a little bit dirty because they have been in storage uh, for kind of in and out. But yeah, these are the first three that I have ever purchased and they've kind of hung around this long so yeah don't mind the dust on all of them but yeah these are the first three ever in my collection had to include them but now moving on to the next one we're going to be looking at the captain america versus thanos movie moment pop from infinity war this was given to me by my best friend aj i really love it it's really cool one of my only movie moments i actually own at the moment and it's awesome but that also led into these next pops Hulk Buster from Infinity War. So for those of you know, this guy was uh, worn by Bruce Banner in Infinity War uh, during the uh, Wakanda raid. And it's also when I found out that these guys were actually bobbleheads. Moving on to the next set, we're looking at the Fallout series. It's gonna include the Vault Dweller male and female. We have the Assault Tron, we got the Sentry Bot, kind of looks abandoned with all the spider webs. It is on the lower shelf. And then we got the Vault Boy or Pit Boy, whatever you wanna call it, and 251 power armor. These guys right here aren't my favorite in the collection, but it, it's gonna work. Now, moving from my worst to my some of my favorites, we're looking at the Ruby Funko Pops. As you can see, we got Ruby Rose here with her silver eyes and crescent rose. We got Weiss Schnee with the scar over her left eye. We got Blake Belladonna sporting that cool bow. And then we got Yang Xiaolong, of course. Uh, these guys are some of my favorites in my entire collection. I love Ruby, I love Rooster Teeth. But they went ahead and re released a hooded Ruby as part of the SDCC uh, shared exclusive with Hot Topic. I love this thing, it is amazing. Now moving on to more gifted pops, we're looking at the Shape of Water, uh, Amphibian Man and Elisa. These were given to me by my best friend, Destiny. I don't remember if it was for Christmas or for my birthday. I used to have the date written on it, however, it has since come off. But these are staying in their boxes. I love them, they're awesome. And now moving on to the Guardians of the Galaxy. We have from Volume 1 and Volume 2, uh, Groot. Of course, it's a bobblehead again. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Looking at the greatest showman Funko Pops now, we've got uh, P.T. Barnum, we got Anna Wheeler, then of course, have to have Philip Carlyle, and as well as the bearded woman. I didn't realize these were gonna become Funko Pops as soon as I saw them, I had to purchase them right away. They're amazing. And of course, you gotta catch them all! So far, I have every single Funko Pop for Pokemon, excluding the 10-inch Pops. These things are awesome. I have Eevee coming up soon, and of course, the Flock Squirtle on Pikachu. Almost. Staying with the Marvel theme, or moving on to the Marvel theme, we got Wasp from Ant-Man and the Wasp. We got a 6-inch Thanos from Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, we also have here the Thor original, also a con exclusive. Shared with GameStop, I believe. Doctor Strange, and then moving on to Captain Marvel, which is probably the biggest line I actually own. We got Collector Core and the Talos here. Uh, moving on, probably the most characters I have are gonna be Captain Marvel herself. As you can see, we're already looking at four exclusives plus four additional ones. Now, there are two more in a different line, not part of the Captain Marvel, and I have a Venomized Captain Marvel coming soon. I can't wait, it's gonna be awesome. Sticking with Marvel, we're looking at the Marvel Black Friday Gamer Boxes. Of course, I have a limited chase there for Deadpool. Really cool. I love it. Of course, to the left here, we have Miles Morales Gamer. To the right, we got Groot Gamer and the Deadpool Gamer. These guys are awesome. Now, probably one of my favorite movies of all time, we're going to be looking at the Avengers Endgame Funko Pop line here. And they're just amazing. We got War Machine and Nebula, who are happy to be a team. We got Ant-Man, Captain America, Thor, uh, sorry, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, and Black Widow. These guys, 
probably my biggest purchase including these next few right here which include Hawkeye we also have Captain Marvel as well as Thanos and as you can see on Thanos he has the Infinity Gauntlet hmm very interesting but yeah probably my biggest purchase of all time at once moving on to the wave twos we have Thanos in the garden Hulk with tacos Korg gamer as well as Captain Marvel with haircut the attention to detail in these guys is simply amazing. Check out the Thanos scars right here. This is very early on in the movie. Then of course we have him with the Infinity Gauntlet all broken up. Then we got Hulk here holding the two tacos for Ant-Man. Korg probably playing Fortnite or something. And of course Captain Marvel when she got harassed by Rocket by getting a haircut on Earth. And sticking with the Wave 2 line, we got the 6 inch Hulk with Gauntlet, Rescue. We have Iron Spider with the Iron Gauntlet. And Captain America holding Mjolnir in an action pose. I love these two pops in particular because just because the poses they're in. Uh, not to take away any of the details on the other ones, of course. Sticking with the Avengers Endgame, we got the GameStop exclusive Skull in the Dark Thor and Hulk Funko Insider Club. We have the Box Lunch Iron Man and Walmart Ronin, given to me by AJ. And then we also have the Collector Core boxes, which were Captain America holding Mjolnir for the first time and Valkyrie as well. These guys are awesome. I still have them in their box. And of course, Spider-Man right there from Far From Home, which led after Endgame. You got Mysterio unmasked, as well as masked in his fishbowl helmet. Uh, of course, can't have Mysterio without the Elementals. We got Hydro Man and Molten Man. I believe those are their names. I don't remember exactly, but the de detail on these guys is simply amazing. I really did wish I picked up the Glow in the Dark Molten Man. Of course, 10 inch Thanos, given to me by AJ again. Shout out to AJ. Thank you, dude. And my Stan Lee Patina Pop looks absolutely amazing. Moving away from Marvel, we're going to be looking at my Star Wars collection now. We got the Knights of Ran, War Club, Long Axe, Scythe, Heavy Blade, Blaster Rifle, and Arm Cannon. That's the Knights of Ran. And of course, you can't have the Knights of Ran without their leader. Of course, we're talking about Kylo Ran. This one happened to be in his uh, TIE Fighter. This guy actually got for free on a penny out from GameStop. Absolutely amazing. I love this thing. It's a bobblehead. That's all I got to say. And of course, sticking with Kylo Ren, I had to pick up the lights and sound effects. No audio or thing here. Keep it in the box. And now moving on to my all-time favorite collection in my entire set. We're looking at the Avatar. Uh, Air Blast Airbender. Of course, you saw Aang and Momo. We got Appa here, both flocked six inch and regular three inch. I think he's actually more of a four, but oh well. Keeping with Team Avatar, we're gonna be looking at Katara and Sokka. Then of course we have Toph doing some earth bending, really sweet. And of course you wouldn't have Team Avatar without Zuko. And of course this is prior. I think this is season one Zuko, if I'm not mistaken, uh, before he joined Team Avatar in season three. And Uncle Iroh holding that cup of tea love it and probably my most expensive pop is going to be azula here about 65 dollars roughly on ppg last time i checked and i finally got it cabbage man and cart 2019 new york city comic con exclusive absolutely love this thing shout out to my sister for getting that for me Alrighty, guys so there were three pops that were or actually four pops that were left out of the uh, core video collection and just briefly because they should have been included with the other ones it was a Nuka Cola Girl uh, from Fallout 76. And then I also missed the three goose, the cats that I actually have. Uh, one was Flurkin uh, Goose, the other one was just regular goose, and the other one was Flocked Goose. And I'm just going to throw some pictures on there uh, while I'm talking about them. Uh, just because I ran out of time and I really didn't want to go back and refilm this thing because I had to pull them off the shelf and oh, that would have been so much fun. Uh, yeah, but here is going to be a more of a small clips of things that i actually didn't have time to put in the video but i did have enough time to edit them into a sweet little montage so check this out drop it Alrighty guys, and that's going to do it for my video today. Hope you really enjoyed this. I really have a lot of fun creating these videos, and hopefully one day they're not just about Funko Pops. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I really do appreciate you watching this video. Let me know what you think. Put it down in the comment section what your favorite pop in my collection is. Leave a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and we'll be doing another video for 2020, hopefully before the end of 2020 for the Funko Pop collection. And hopefully we do some more vlogs later down the road. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, guys.